If you like movies and music, but you haven't visited your local thrift stores in a while, you should go check it out. Lately I've found a deluge of compact discs, DVDs, even Blu-ray movies at Goodwill, Salvation Army, Christians in Action, and other thrift stores. For example, here is a two CD live Alison Krauss. This was 10 cents. That's five cents per disc. It came from the Bargain Cave in San Angelo. And here is a four disc collector's edition Blu-ray of Prometheus. This is a Ridley Scott movie and I found this for 99 cents at Goodwill in Abilene. With four discs, that's 25 cents per disc. In this video, I'm gonna discuss why I think this is happening how you can convert optical media into streaming media in your own home, and I'll give more examples of stuff that I found that's coming up on Thrifty AV. I get it. Streaming is easier than inserting and removing optical media from your DVD player, CD player, whatever. That's probably why services such as Netflix, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Pandora, Amazon Music, Apple Music, YouTube Music, Sirius XM, and Spotify have become so popular. And a lot of people are giving up their optical media. They're just switching totally over to streaming and giving away to Goodwill and other thrift stores their old CDs, their old DVDs, and their old Blu-rays. That stuff is still good, and there's advantages that you're not necessarily gonna find on a streaming service like Netflix, such as bonus features, audio commentary tracks. When it comes to music, there's entire libraries that are not included on these music streaming services, so you'll never hear those songs. Okay, what can be done to make digital optical media more convenient? Well, the first step is to digitize. In a recent video, a uh, link in the description, I compared three different digitizing software programs for digitizing uh, CDs. And I found that the most convenient, maybe not the best, but the most convenient was Windows Media Player and I showed how to digitize at 320 kbps, which sounds pretty good. Now for DVDs and Blu-rays, the software program I like is MakeMKV. Let's take a look at that. MakeMKV is a program that is still in beta, and what it allows you to do is take your DVDs and your Blu-rays and make files out of them, MKV files to be specific. Now, MKV is just a package. Uh, your DVDs will still be encoded with MPEG-2 compression, and your Blu-rays, I believe they use MPEG-4 compression. New versions of MKV come out on a pretty frequent basis, and the old versions do not work. You have to use the most recent version. Now, MKV is an open and free file format. VLC supports MKV files and so do some other uh, media players. To use Make MKV, load your disc using your optical drive and of course if it's a Blu-ray disc you'll need a Blu-ray drive. MKV is pretty good at detecting which optical drive is in use. It selected the Blu-ray drive because I just inserted this Blu-ray. First just uh, click on open Blu-ray disc. They talk about activation, but if you uninstall it and reinstall the latest version, it works. It finds everything on the disc before it actually rips it. So there's kind of a two-part process to ripping your optical media. Okay, now uh, I'm going to go ahead and let it pick every single title it found, even though some of these are not going to be the movie. Some of these are going to be uh, special features, FBI warnings, stuff like that. I want to pick where I want to put it, and now I'm going to hit Make MKV. So now go have a snack because this process will take a little bit of time. 97 titles, that's a lot. 
Looks like we have warnings in upteen different languages. Maybe some special features here. Maybe I need to sort by size. Okay, this is going to be the movie right here. Yeah, that's the movie. Okay, so now that I have this thing recorded and backed up onto a hard drive, it's time to start talking about setting this up for streaming onto my uh, entertainment center. With your media encoded to file formats, there are a bunch of ways to watch or listen to your media on your entertainment center. You can have a dedicated media server, either with a full-fledged computer or even with a Raspberry Pi. You can use a program such as Plex to turn your main computer into a media server, or you can use a hard drive plugged into either a router or a streaming device and use that. I've picked up a bunch of CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays over the last few weeks at thrift stores. Here are the highlights. I had a Blu-ray day at Goodwill. This is Alien Covenant. This is a Ridley Scott movie. It's, uh, I believe, the most recent Alien movie. All right, this is the four disc uh, collector's edition of Prometheus. It has the 3D version. I can't play 3D right now, but eventually I, I'll probably get a 3D TV. So I'll be able to check it out with that movie. Here's the regular Blu-ray. That's the special features disc. And here's the DVD with digital copy. This Blu-ray is in a red case. This is Mel Gibson, Mad Max. Audio, Australian English. Uh, I believe the other DVD I have has dubbed American English, so I look forward to listening to this in the original Australian English. Also, the American English dubbed is also on here. Deadpool, I think everybody knows what that one is. The Goonies, I've actually never seen this movie. Uh, I figure for 99 cents, it's worth it to watch it. Rocky, this is a classic. Very good movie. Gattaca, I've seen it, but I remember it being a good movie. I would be willing to watch it again. Roadhouse, which is a Patrick Swayze classic. And Mel Brooks, Young Frankenstein. Very funny comedy. I'm a sucker for cheesy old westerns, and here's two of them on one DVD. Boot Hill and Vengeance Valley. I think everyone knows who Burt Lancaster is. If you don't know who Terrence Hill is, he's an Italian actor who was in a lot of spaghetti westerns. Boot Hill is the one starring Terrence Hill, and Vengeance Valley is the one with Burt Lancaster. The former Mel and Reynolds from uh, the Blockbuster Online fell down to a penny a piece at Dirt Cheap. So here is six cents represented here. Uh, I'm just going to add these to the rest of them that I bought at higher prices earlier. Also at Dirt Cheap were these one penny DVDs, but the pickings are getting slim. The Bargain Cave in San Angelo had CDs for 10 cents each. Here we have the Mormon Tabernacle Choir, Silent Night. Uh, Party Time Karaoke, Super Hits 15. Julio Iglesias. Uh, 1100 Bel Air Place. This has the duet with Willie Nelson to all the girls I've loved before. Allison Krauss, Union Station Live. This is a two CD set that I got for a dime. And I believe this DVD was uh, 25 cents. A Night in Old Mexico with Robert Duvall. I have not seen this. Here are a couple of CDs from the Salvation Army. I have Winter Wonderland, and I have Luther Vandross, uh, Never Too Much. I'll be giving that one to Mother. The Habitat for Humanity Restore had CDs for 50 cents. And this is a double CD for 50 cents, Benny Goodman, live at Carnegie Hall. And we have The Sound of Music, Here's Nat King Cole, Ramblin' Rose, and more. Al Heert, Pete Fontaine, Super Jazz. 
and The King and I by Rogers and Hammerstein. Had a small CD haul at Goodwill the other day. I kind of like these compilations. Uh, they're a little bit cheesy sometimes, but uh, sometimes they mix some fun stuff together. And the Guitar Rock series, I remember the commercials for these. Uh, I've, I never thought I would find so many years. Whoops, that one has a bad jewel case of the Guitar Rock at one time. So that was pretty nice. We got Faith Hill. I think this one I don't actually have. And Huey Lewis in the News, four chords several years ago. Found a couple of CDs at the Goodwill. We have Porcupine Tree on the Sunday of Life. And it's in one of these fancier uh, jewel cases that keeps things more secure, so that's nice. And Genesis We Can't Dance, which I believe is a live album. And while I was at Goodwill, I found this S-Video cable. Uh, I'm always misplacing mine, so I figure I better get a spare. I picked up a few things from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Here we have Judy Garland, Golden Memories Of. This is two LPs on one CD. Here we have the Ink Spots, their all-time greatest hits. And this is a Reader's Digest release. And we got the Tonight Show Band with Doc Severinsen, world premiere performance, all digital recording, and we have the Johnny Carson theme on here. And uh, not a CD, but a book. We have the complete James Bond movie encyclopedia, so this will be fun to browse through. I found this CD at Christians in Action. This is Loggins and Messina. This is their self-titled sophomore release and it features the hit song your mama don't dance which was a real breakthrough for Loggins and Messina and uh, really launched Kenny Loggins career when you go through the recently donated bins at Goodwill you can find some stuff that's not going to be half price but it's also not going to be picked over and I found quite a few CDs here this is Adam Sandler what the hell happened to me a uh, pretty good comedy CD that I do not already have. Here we have the soundtrack to Braveheart. Instead of James Horner's name, who was the conductor of the symphony orchestra, they have Mel Gibson's name on here. Uh, this is Moulin Rouge. This is the soundtrack to the movie, not the play. Here we have Tom Jones, The Lead and How You Swing It. Here's Radiohead, Pablo Honey. Uh, we got Kill Bill movie soundtrack. Here is a uh, soundtrack to The Matrix, music composed by Don Davis. Here we have Freddie Fender, La Musica de Badamar Huerta. Vangelis is best known for his movie scores such as Chariots of Fire and Blade Runner. But he also occasionally released regular albums. This is considered electronica because he composed everything with keyboards. In real small print, it says 1988. So, uh, and there's a bonus track on the CD that's not available on the LP. Okay, found some interesting stuff at Habitat for Humanity. Here is a New Age music sampler and another New Age music sampler. This one says Tranquil Moods. And Errol Gardner, Concert by the Sea. I've heard of this. I think I know someone who might want this, so I went ahead and picked it up. I believe these were 50 cents each. I recently ran into a garage sale where CDs and DVDs were a quarter each. Here is the soundtrack to The Man from Snowy River. This is uh, one of the labels I collect. It's Italian, I believe. Vorace Sarabande Digital. And here are Imagine Dragons, Smoke Plus Mirrors. Not my favorite band, but I'll pick it up for a quarter. And two movies here, Die Hard and Die Hard 2. Bruce Willis Classics. 
And I just realized I already had Die Hard, so one of these I'll end up keeping, and the other will get traded away probably on Swap a DVD. While visiting the Salvation Army, I didn't find much AV gear, but I found some media. Here's Theory of a Dead Man Special Edition. Has both the CD and the DVD. So that's kind of nice. And here's a movie that I've never heard of. Uh, but, you know, looks like it might be some good action adventure. I picked up some stuff from the Salvation Army, including this solar-powered uh, calculator. I used to have one just like this. Uh, this cost me 99 cents. And when I saw this one, I thought, wow, that's just like the old one I used to have. So I picked it up. And I also picked up two music CDs and a game CD. Uh, orange tags were half price, and that was 59 cents half price. That's 59 cents half price, and this is 59 cents half price. Occasionally I mess up at Goodwill. These two books on CD follow up the Aragon book. Uh, this one has 20 CDs, and they're all there. This has 23 CDs, and they're all there. I kind of figured I could trade these in for a whole bunch of credits at Paperback Swap, but they're only worth two credits each, even though this one has 20 discs and this one has 23 discs. Now, if I decide to listen to these, this was not a mistake, but I got to listen to Aragon first before I listen to these two. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel, and remember, stay thrifty everyone.